the report shining a spotlight on access, uptake, usage and perceptions of financial services in Uganda. The head of one of the funders, ABI Finance, delivering a gloomy outlook of what the future will be like in case the country does not address climate change related challenges and vulnerability. Two years later, I see that number has grown by 33 and there are now 182 countries being surveyed. But guess where our statistic is? We are not doing well. We've gone up to number 10. We are now the 10th most vulnerable to climate change. And yet, unfortunately, we are the 155th least prepared to address climate change. So for a lot of the interventions that have happened, still uh, a lot more has to be done. Then because of the inaction and inactivity around climate change, over the next decade, if we don't do much or if we do very little, if we do nothing, it will cost us between three to six billion dollars. So the cost is very high. And what does that mean in real terms? It means that when there are floods and farmers put seed in the ground and we don't have improved seed, that seed will not germinate. If it's too dry, we're seeing the problem of aflatoxin. Aflatoxins are directly related to heat, to the very long drought spells, and that's affecting a lot of our staples like millet. Climate change issues are only a small part of a long detailed survey that includes findings on spending behaviors and social security among Ugandans. The FinScope survey is uh, a nationally representative demand side survey that seeks to understand how Ugandans age 16 and above, uh, access and use financial services. While banks, circles, and other financial services, service providers can provide information on how many people are using their services, they are often unable to explain why they use certain services, why certain choices are made, and importantly, why people may choose not to use financial services even when there is evidence of overall economic benefits from the use of formal financial services. The Bank of Uganda, one of the sponsors of the report, noted the findings are a glimpse into the future. And it's not a surprise that when you go by the World Bank Index statistics, we've achieved the 66% uh, in terms of access. This compared to the sub-Saharan region is 10 percent points above. This we can all feel. We're also soon coming to you to consult you on central bank digital currencies. We have come up with a, a consultation paper which, will be very, which is being refined and it will, will come to you to seek your views. I think what's coming out clearly, we've achieved a lot of financial inclusion through mobile money. But there's need to modernize payment systems. Back to climate change, according to ABI Finance, to date some $6 million has been mobilized. A small portion, given the potential threats facing the country's agriculture sector, which employs about 68% of the working population. Marco Musime, NTV Weekend Edition.